hey guys we're finally here after so long it's been a while since i've updated my collection but first off guys i want to say thank you to every single one of you for 9,000 plus subscribers i've never thought we'd get there so thank you guys so much and i'm really glad you guys keep enjoying the content those of you that are new consider subscribing if you're interested in reviews uh collection showcases maybe posing videos anything like that if any of that interests you consider subscribing but yeah guys before we do get started i do want to thank as always uh these main sync uh five people that i know uh essos hunters jd hunters ssj trippy js collects and the true legend those guys are always an inspiration to me so thank you to them but yeah guys let's go ahead and get started we'll be showing you guys first the dragon ball stuff and then i'll show you the rest on the right side so yeah let's get started all right guys so first off here we have the saiyan saga uh i did update this the last time you guys did see um, if you see on Instagram or TikTok, I did update it there as well. But yeah, guys, starting it off here, we do have a Raditz. This is the event exclusive, as well as the Gohan. They both came together. Really love that figure. Really awesome. I really like the paint they did. They chose for this one, so it's really cool. Here we do have a Krillin. I do know he is for the Cell Saga. This is the version for the Cell Saga, but I have so many figures in there. I thought I'd just put him in here since I have a little bit less in here. But here we do have a Scouter Vegeta. This is uh, with the Tones and Art Toys Ape head sculpt, which looks so phenomenal. Still one of my favorites till this day and will always remain my one of my favorites. Here we do have the event exclusive uh, Nappa. This is a custom effect right here that I got off eBay. Here we do have a Piccolo with the Special Beam Cannon. This came with the boot tanks, if I'm not mistaken. So that's really, really cool. Here we do have the Target exclusive Go, uh, Goku which I finally got, so I'm super happy to finally have him. Looks really, really awesome in the mat. And then lastly, we do have Saiyan Saga, uh, or Saiyan Rays on Earth Goku. Uh, this is the custom head sculpt that came. I forgot the brand. It was like RS Customs or something like that. Feel free to tell me if you guys do know. Um, and then we do have the pod right here, so that's awesome. Like I said, I, in the future, I'd really want to get um, great ape <laughs> but i don't know how he fit in here especially with me having the pod so we'll have to see maybe i'll have a second display you never know but yeah guys that is the same saga all right guys next up we do have the namek saga i'm super happy to finally have a diorama i just got this off yesterday from the goat the true legends the guy makes awesome diorama so thanks to you man if you're watching by any chance but yeah he just if you guys want to go get a commission or he just makes other ones if you're just interested go on his instagram the, uh, the true legend so yeah guys you can see right here he puts his logo which is really really awesome so yeah really happy to have these i do have three from this guy so really awesome awesome work but yeah guys getting into the namek saga here we do have the awakening goku the with the long name but yeah guys i do like how he looks back there uh just so you guys know this is pretty much just a clean look right here because I just got the dial in yesterday and I do want to get some more figures for the Namek Saga. Until then, they'll be like this for now. But yeah, guys, continuing, we do have the new 24,000 power level Vegeta, which looks awesome. I really like that figure. Then here we do have a Bardock. I knew I know he doesn't belong in here, especially with the Super Saiyan head sculpt, but he looks awesome in here, in my opinion. And the Super Saiyan head sculpt just looks so phenomenal. So I just had to throw him in here. And then we do have a Goku. This is the Awakening, the OG version with a custom Demonical Fit head sculpt. So that's awesome right there. Then we do have the Kaioken, the original release of the 2.0. And then here we do have a Piccolo. Then Frieza right here. And then we do have the first form Frieza. So yeah, I eventually do want to get the Doria's Arbon. Maybe Frieza's second form. But yeah, guys, I hope I can get those in the future. But as of now, this is the Namek Saga. So yeah. Let's move on to the next. All right, guys. Next off, we have the Cell Saga. I just recently updated this, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, guys. So starting it off on the top left corner, we do have pure armor here, which is awesome. We got uh, Vegeta, Awakened by Blood, I believe it's called. The new armor, metallic hair trunks. We do have a custom armor, Goku. And then we do have a Gohan as well. Shout out to Sal at Essos Hunters for giving me that idea for that Gohan. Really, really awesome. Super happy to have it. But yeah, guys. And then here we do have a perfect cell. This is the Dragon Stars. Like I said, in my opinion, he's the best one as of now. So I'm hoping that SH Figure Arts does update uh, a perfect uh, cell version, which would be so awesome. Then here we do have the event exclusive 
uh, Android 16 and 17 right here with awesome poses. Then here we do have uh, Android 19. Forgot his name for a second. Uh, I don't know about Dr. Jerome. I may pick him up sometime in the future, but honestly, guys, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling his hair, so that's something that bothers me. So we'll see in the future. But here we do have Boy from the Future Trunks. Then here we do have the new Gohan, which is a really, really awesome figure. And then we do have a uh, full power Goku with a custom Majin Buster head sculpt from the Demonical Fit. So here we do have Android 18. Looks very, very bright. Sorry about that, guys. It is the lighting right here. But yeah. Then here we have a first form cell. And then lastly, we do have the new pickup Demonical Fit father and son this is the new version of gohan which i love this is the awesome super saiyan 2 and you can see the hair strands just look so awesome on him look really really good so yeah this is the cell saga one more time but yeah guys let's move on to the next one all right guys next up we are on the boo saga uh this is another diorama made from the true legends so this is super awesome really love how this turned out but here first up on the top left corner we do have a super saiyan 2 event exclusive goku and this is a Vegeta, I believe it's a Kong body with a Tonton Art Toys Majin uh, head sculpt, which looks so good. Definitive version, I would say. Then here we do have a Boo Tanks. Really love that custom kit as well from Tonton. They're just making amazing things. And this is a Dragon Stars Go Tanks. I just have that at the moment because I did sell the other one a long time ago because it kind of bothered me on the chest. So as of now, until they make a new one, I'll just hold on to that one. It's not too bad, so I like him. Here we do have the Vegito uh, with the new head sculpt. I think it's called D-L uh, or something. I forgot what it was called. Can't really think of it on the top of my head. But yeah, guys, that head sculpt looks phenomenal. You can see right there. Really, really love how that looks. The matte finish looks so spot on. I love it. And then here we do have a Super Saiyan 2 Majin Buster uh, Goku. So this is a Demonical Fit. And then here we do have another Demonical Fit, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You can see he has the updated faceplates right there. So, yeah. Then we do have a Super Boo and Gohan right here doing the iconic stare down. A lot of people have this in their poses. So, really, really iconic. This moment was just awesome in Dragon Ball. And then lastly, we do have the Majin Vegeta right here as well. This is the Demonical Fit Proud Prince body with another Tones and Heart uh, head sculpt. But it is the matte finish. So, yeah, that looks really, really awesome. So yeah, that is the Majin Buu Saga. Let's move on to the next. All right, guys. Next up, we are getting into Dragon Ball Super. This is another diorama made from the True Legends. So yeah, this I really love how this turned out as well. So starting it off, we do have Vegito and Zamasu right here. They are fighting. I feel that he was superior and stronger to him. So that's why I have him punching him. <laughs> and then here we do have two Super Saiyan Rose Goku Blacks. On the right version is the event exclusive, which is my favorite Goku Black. And then on the middle, we do have the target uh, version of Goku Black. And they both do have the D uh, DL Customs head sculpt. So that looks really, really good. And then here we do have a base Goku Black and Zamasu. And yeah, before you guys say, I do have a lot of Goku Blacks in here. I have four. He is my favorite Dragon Ball character after all. So I have to have that many. But yeah, continuing, we do have them together right here. We're looking awesome. Next up, we do have a Goku Super Saiyan Blue right here. This is a accessory that comes with the Vegeta, I believe. It's a Tonson kit. Next up, we have another Goku Black right here. This is the Super Saiyan version from DL Customs as well. Looks really, really good. And I had to go pick up another base Goku Black just for this form. It's worth it to me. Like I said, he's my favorite character. So, yeah. Then here we do have a Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Goku. Uh, like I said, I do have a mix of anime of the anime and the manga, so I just had to have these forms in here. They look so cool, especially in this display, because you're just not used to seeing these kinds of transformations in people's display. So I like that a lot. And then here we do have a Goku or Vegeta, sorry, Super Saiyan Blue with the OG Super Saiyan armor. And then lastly, we do have a uh, Super Saiyan Trunks right here. This is the Future Trunks version. Still love this figure. Not sure if I'm going to pick up the event exclusive. I think I'm good with this one for now. But yeah, guys, that is the Goku Black display. So let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. Next up, we do have the Tournament of Power. Another one of my favorite sagas ever or arcs. So yeah, diving into it. First off, we have Frieza right here on the top left corner. This is the $35 version. Here we have a Ultra Instinct Goku, which is the OG version versus a 
full power uh, Jiren. This is the Black Hole toys. So you can see how good he looks, just like the original. And he brought way more accessories, so I just had to pick him up. And then here next up, we do have the twins, 17 and 18 from the tournament versions. They look so cool together. And then up here, we do have Kefla and Goku, Ultra Instinct, that iconic fight scene between them was just so awesome. And I do have a custom Kong head sculpt on Goku. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but yeah. Here we have a Super Saiyan God Goku and Hit. This is another iconic moment I feel when they teamed up. It was really, really awesome. So I thought I'd just throw it in there. I just wanted to throw all kinds of transformations for Goku. You know, not just the two Ultra Instincts. But yeah, that's just me. Here we did, I did put a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku together. This is another iconic uh, scene. Everyone knows. So I just had to put them together. And then lastly, we do have Jiren right there. Just with crossed arms, just looking all chill. Because this guy, we already know how powerful he was. Just, he would have no care in the world. So yeah. And then here we do have, lastly, the Toyotaro version of Goku. Which I just really, really love. Uh, like I said, he is a 2.0 version. But I honestly don't care. The artwork and the paint just looks so good. You could just see his face right there. Just looks so menacing and threatening. So I just love the artwork they did on this figure. Really, really happy with it. But yeah, guys, this is the Tournament of Power. Getting in to the next one. All right, guys, getting in, uh, into the Dragon Ball Super Broly display. This is another one I recently updated. I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram. But yeah, guys, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I didn't think I'd be able to fit this many figures, especially on this dial that I made. So yeah, this is crazy in my opinion. Uh, yeah, first off, we do have a Super Saiyan God Vegeta back there. With the Tonesin R Toys head sculpt, another phenomenal one. I did forget to mention I did have the Tonesin head sculpt on the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Yeah, I just love those head sculpts, they're all really good. And then we do have a Golden Freezer right there. They need to update that one. I feel like they need a new version of him. He just feels looks too scrawny, but he'll do for now. Then here we have a Broly, uh, the original version. Then I did throw in Beerus and Whis, which is brand new. I never had them in here before. Then we have the Dark Armor Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta right there, shooting a Galley Gun. I do have him shooting it with one hand, so it could just be a little different. And then here we have Gogeta and Broly clashing. This this pose right here took so long to do, guys. I just had to balance Gogeta perfectly on the stand and on Broly at the same time. So I'm really glad I pulled it off. Really, really love how that turned out. But next up, we do have a base Goku right here. Uh, this is the jacket version and Vegeta as well. I just had to have these. Uh, in the display a lot of people have them as well just super super cool look and it's just something different for your broly display so that's awesome then here we do have the new version of the super saiyan god goku which is insane i love this he looks so damn awesome uh this is probably my favorite super saiyan god version i just love the paint they did on this one it looks really really good and i did go ahead and add some fire fiery effects and we added a super saiyan blue goku right here with the rip version this is awesome you already guys already know in the movie when he transformed from god to blue it was just so so awesome so yeah and then here lastly we do have a super saiyan gogeta uh shooting the soul punisher this is from a dragon stars i believe the accessory so yeah but yeah guys that's the broly display i really really, really love how this turned out so yeah let's get into the next one all right guys next we have the super superhero uh display uh yeah you guys can see i believe uh quite a bit of people i've seen on instagram when i posted this but i did go ahead and add a band presto i believe statue of cell max i just had to have that guys it looks so damn cool in the display and i just feel like the size is just perfect especially him being able to fit in this glass uh, display but yeah uh moving on we do have goku and vegeta right here fighting just like the iconic scene from the movie here we have a beast gohan with the custom dl cuss uh, dl customs i believe it's called but yeah, that looks really, really cool shooting the beam cannon. Here we have the superhero Broly as well. Here I did go ahead and add Gohan Super Saiyan and the orange Piccolo uh, SH Figure Arts. Really, really love that figure. So awesome. Such an iconic moment for Piccolo, I would say. Probably one of the most, in my opinion. Uh, here we do have Gamma 1 and 2. They look awesome as well. Really, really uh, hard to get nowadays, I would say. Not insanely hard, but like they're pricey. They're really, really pricey now. And then lastly, we do have the the authentic version of the Beast Gohan right here. Love the head sculpt as well. 
Uh, you guys let me know which one you think is better. Honestly, the Beast Gohan, I lean towards more on the DL Customs slightly. But overall, they're both awesome. So, yeah, guys. Like I said, I really love how this display looks. I haven't updated it in a while. But, yeah, Cell Max in there, just it looks so cool in my opinion. So, yeah, let's move on to the next. All right, guys. Getting into the last, last Dragon Ball display. Uh, I guess you could say this is a non-canon. I did just put in Ultra Eagle in here just because there's not really any other spot to put them in at the moment. But yeah, guys, here I do have a Super Baby. This is a Dragon Stars. Until they make a real one, I did put him in here. He just looks so cool in my opinion. I really love how he turned out. And I did go ahead and put that effect on him. Here we did put Android 21 right there. Hope you guys can see that well. I went, went ahead and put Cooler, Bardock. I went, uh, put Sharon on. This is another Dragon Stars. Like I said, I'm hoping they'll make these guys eventually in GT. But yeah, that's awesome. Here we have Super Saiyan 4 and Goku Goku and Vegeta, which looks so cool together. Still one of my favorite figures, that Goku. And here we have the Demonical Fit Ultimate Atrocious. Uh, Goku Black. This is the Xeno Goku Black, I would say. It's from that web series. I've watched it up, up, until, up until Goku Black, I believe. So yeah, I just had to have that. Like I said, he's my favorite character, so I'm going to get almost anything Goku Black. Uh, so yeah. That's the last look at the display. All right, guys. Now we're going to move on to the next. All right, guys. That is it for my Dragon Ball collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. But getting into other lines that I'm currently collecting, other animes. So here we have the SH Figure Arts Naruto line. All right, guys. First off, we do have the event exclusive Kakashi right there with the Shurikens. I just had to get this version. He looks so awesome with them. And then the Susanoo effect that I got. They look so cool paired together. So, yeah. We do have Minato up there new pickup new recent new release really awesome figure here we have the sasuke as well with the susano if you guys know naruto that's really really awesome here we have the event exclusive madara here we have event exclusive jiraiya we got sakura just standing there here we have the kid version of naruto this is the tail beast version i did go ahead and put i believe the line's called anime heroes yeah, he brought like those cloak effects for the nine tails, so that I just had to put that. It looks so cool. Here we have the new uh, Kurama Link Mode Naruto, which looks so awesome. Probably top five easily this year of the figures. Here we have a Obito, my favorite anime character of all time. We're using the Kamui right there, it looks so cool. And then we do have Orochimaru and Kitsasuke. So yeah, guys, like I said, this is a line that I eventually want as big as my Dragon Ball collection. I just love Naruto just as much as Dragon Ball. So I'm hoping that this line just continues to grow. So yeah. All right, guys. Next up, we do have the Jujutsu Kaisen line. Uh, I just don't know if this figure, this line is going to be discontinued. They haven't announced any new figures. But I'm hoping that they haven't stopped. Because this line and anime in general is just so awesome to me. But yeah, moving on to the first uh, figure. Here we have a Yuta Akotsu with the Rika statue that I got. They look so awesome together, so I just had to have it. And those are custom effects from Can of Beans, I believe it's called on Instagram. And the head sculpt is from the Toy Spot 12, I believe, on Instagram as well. All custom things for him. So, yeah. Here we have a Gojo up there. This is the Figma version. And then we do have Gato. Hope you guys can see that well. Uh, Gato right there. This is the JJK Zero version. I do have a custom effect right there, kind of him opening a cursed portal, so that's cool. Uh, we do have Sukuna as well with the robe. I just went ahead and picked it up because after seeing SSJ Trippy, I just know I had to get it, man. Like, that looked too awesome to not have, especially if you like Jujutsu Kaisen. And then here we do have uh, Sukuna. This is uh, the Shibuya incident, like, version. You can see right there, I still have the ripped arm. Kind of like I kitbashed it. And then, obviously, it's the SH figure at UG body. Here we have another custom, if you guys know from the manga, uh, it's the Meguna, which is Sukuna, but in Megumi's body. So yeah, I went ahead and put that. That's also from the Toy Spa, if you guys want to pick that up. It's a custom head sculpt, so that looks awesome. Here we have the two teenage versions of Gojo and Gato. Look awesome together. Really, really solid figures. Here we have a Gojo. Uh, this is the JJK Zero as well. Uh, he has a custom head sculpt from the Toy Spot as well, as well once again. So yeah. Here we have uh, Nabara and Yuji. This is the Figma Yuji, and that's the SH Figure Arts Nabara. And she has a custom effect as well from Canna Beans. 
And lastly, we do have a Figma Fushiguro. I do have the SH figures, but like I said, he's being used for Sugunas or Megunas form. But uh, I had to get this because he has the iconic domain expansion of Cracked Owl Face, I would say. So yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, guys, that is my Jujutsu Kaisen collection. Let's move on to the next. All right, guys, getting into my Spider-Verse. Uh, I did update this recently, not too long ago. But yeah, guys, I'm happy with how this turned out. I cannot wait to get more. All these spider figures are mixed with Mafex, Revoltek, and SH Fig Arts. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. Starting it off with the SH Fig Arts 2099 uh, Miguel O'Hara. Looks so cool. I really love that pose that I did right there. Here we have the SH Fig Arts Tobey Maguire. And this is the CT Toys Tobey Maguire, but the black suit version. And I did go ahead and pick up that custom head sculpt from the guy on Instagram. I forgot his name. It's like Fushi something. Uh, I could see if I could leave a link. But yeah, that's really awesome. That just threw the figure to a whole new other level. So yeah. Here we have the Mayfix Scarlet Spider. And SH Figure Arts Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man. Really love that figure. Favorite Spider-Man of all time in my opinion. For the movies. Uh, here we have the Tom Holland version as well. SH Figure Arts. Here we have the little pig. Spider pig. <laughs> I forgot what his name. I think that's his name right. And then here we have the Revoltek 2.0 Spider-Man. Solid, solid figure guys. If you guys want to get a spider figure, I recommend getting this one. He's so awesome. Here we have the new reissue, recently reissued uh, Iron Spider. Awesome figure, finally happy to have it. I went ahead and just have him balancing with the arms, which is crazy. I was able to do that. He's fallen a couple of times, but I think I've balanced him well enough now. And then here we do have the uh, Miles Morales and Gwen. These are the SH Figure Arts uh, versions. They look awesome as well i really love those figures here we have the one probably top three i would say easily uh figures of the year revoltech agent venom this guy is insane his articulation the accessories the look just everything about him is just perfect here we have the sentinel Ma miles morales the kid version uh, i do prefer this one over the mafex because he brings that hooded version you could just switch and configure different parts for him which is cool so i really like that here we do have a Lego Spider-Man. <laughs> I just find that funny. I saw that once on JS Collects video and I just had to have it. It's just very hilarious, but I like it in the display nonetheless. Here we have the Mafex Symbiote Spider-Man. One of my favorites of Grail figure, I would say. Here we have the Ben Riley. This is the Mafex. He recently reissued. I'm super happy to finally have him because he's been selling for 400 for so long, which is insane. I wasn't going to pay that much for one figure. So, And then here we have the... Mafex Spider-Man is a classic look and it's the more brighter colors. This is the newer version. So yeah But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed that is my Spider-Verse collection and let's move on to the next one All right guys here. We have the X-Men display. This is another one that I recently updated probably like two days ago I'm super happy with how this turned out. Uh, I recently picked up that Phoenix Mafex uh, gene right there, which is awesome But yeah guys this display looks so cool in my opinion one of my favorites here, starting it off, we do have a Marvel Legends uh, Goblin Queen or Madeline Pryor. Uh, they don't have a Mafex as of now, so I'll have this for now. She looks good, in my opinion. Here we have the Mafex uh, Magneto. This is the newer version, and it's the classic look, so I just knew I had to get it. He just looks so good. The articulation, the accessories, you just get everything with Mafex, so that's awesome. Here we have a Mafex Phoenix Jean, recently picked up. Uh, unfortunately, she did not come with accessories, which is very surprising. But nevertheless, I have some flame effects and I do have that little Phoenix bird fire effect from the Legends. So I thought I'd just put it on her and she looks awesome. She is balanced on the fire, which is really, really cool. I didn't have to use a stand. Uh, next up, we do have a Marvel Legends Rogue. They did a reveal a Mafex. I'm super excited about that one. I hope you guys are as well. But I'm definitely going to be picking her up and she will be, be replaced as soon as the Mafex comes out. Next up, we do have the Mafex Psylocke. Her and Gambit are two reissues that I fortunately got. Oh, and uh, Wolverine. I just never thought I'd get any of those three figures ever as soon as I was collecting. So I'm super happy to finally have them in the collection. And here we have a Marvel Legends Nightcrawler. He's a solid figure, I would say. For Marvel Legends, he's really awesome. So, yeah. Here is a Marvel Legends Col uh, Colossus. Uh, this is from the 2-pack, I believe. And I'm hoping that Revoltek. I would say Revoltek would be awesome for a colossus he would just look so damn cool but he'll do for now in my opinion 
Next up, we do have a Mafex jean. This is the classic look. So I really like that figure a lot as well. Here we have a Marvel Legends Bishop from the X-Men 97 wave. Uh, I just went ahead and put some red effects from the Reverse Flash Revoltech on him. They just look so cool, especially on his eye. That's just so cool when he's charging his uh, power. So that's really, really cool to release his kinetic energy. So I like that. And then here we do have a Revoltech Cable. An insanely hard figure to get nowadays. Uh, this is probably my favorite version, I'd say. All the Marvel Legends are okay, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this is the Cable to have, in my opinion. I really like it. He brings the guns, the articulation, and he just looks cool. And I think that's the look from the Marvel vs. Capcom game, if I'm not mistaken. So I really, really like that as well. But yeah, guys. Moving on down here, we do have the Mafex uh, Wolverine. This is the one of the figures that I mentioned earlier that I never thought I'd get, like, ever. So I'm super happy to finally have him. But yeah, he's a really awesome figure. Brings some simple accessories, but, you know, it's Wolverine. What can you expect? He brings the claws, some, some hand effects, or some hand accessories, rather. And an unmasked head sculpt, so that's pretty much all you can ask for Wolverine, so, yeah. And then we do have a Mafix Gambit. Once again, another figure I never thought I'd get. Uh, th as soon as I saw him when I started collecting, and especially X-Men, Mafex Gambit was the one I needed. So, in my opinion, it's my favorite and the coolest version. He brings in insane accessories. I was able to balance this right here on my display. So, that's cool. I like that. And then here we have the Amazing Yamaguchi or Voltec Deadpool 2.0 version. One of my favorites of all time. As soon as I saw him, I knew I was going to get him. He's my favorite Marvel character. So, yeah, I had to get it. Especially him become uh, having all those accessories. The katanas, the guns, the size, pistol accessories, knives, all that, grenades. He, just, he has it all. So, that's awesome. And lastly, we do have a Marvel Legend Cyclops. This is from the new 97 with the VHS head sculpt. So, yeah. Really, really love that figure. Uh, I didn't get the main fix. But uh, honestly, in my opinion, I like the Marvel Legends a little bit more. Uh, his body just looks proportion, proportioned better, in my opinion. And yeah, I like it. So yeah, uh, this is the X-Men display. Really happy with how it turned out. But yeah, let's go ahead and move in to the last one. Or move on to the last two. All right, guys, getting into the DC display. Another one of my favorites. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, here we have a Mafex Nightwing. Really, really awesome. This is from the Batman Hush line which i really really love here we do have a dark side is the storm collectibles as soon as i saw him i just knew i had to get it so that's cool i really like that here we have a revolted catwoman another figure that's really really cool that just released here is the mafex batman another one of another one of my favorite figures here we have the two speedsters reverse flash and flash hope you guys can see that well i just have them running in a chase scene probably one of the best revolte figures that this line has ever made they will remain one of my favorites of all time so that's really cool here we have a batman hush uh hush figure and then we do have a poison ivy this is the mafex version as well another one from batman hush here on the top left we do have a revoltek and revoltek superman and supergirl uh both awesome figures supergirl just released uh, they unfortunately didn't come with much accessories. I would say they could have come with like air effects or ground pounds or anything like that. But nevertheless, they're awesome. They're solid figures, so I'm happy to have them. Uh, here we do have a Joker and Harley, both were Voltec versions. These are my favorite looks because they have like a comic look to them, which I really, really enjoy. Here we do have the Revoltec Deathstroke, who is uh, going to be reissuing soon, which I'm super excited about. I'm going to be picking another one up because he did bring some more accessories, so we'll see. If I end up keeping this one or if I have a reason to keep two. But yeah, guys, he is an awesome, solid figure. And he is Revoltek, if you didn't know. And last but not least, probably my favorite one in this whole display. We have the Batman Arkham Knight, Arkham Knight figure. Uh, but he is configured into Red Hood. I did kid bash it with the custom jacket and the helmet. And I just went ahead and made my own Red Hood, which I'm super happy to have. So yeah, that is my DC display. Let's move on to the last one. All right, guys, last but not least, this is one that hasn't been updated for quite a bit of time. Uh, I do want to go ahead and update it soon. One figure will be releasing in this My Hero line. So until then, I will update it. But yeah, guys, starting it off, this is another one of my favorite animes. If you guys don't know, My Hero Academia. These guys are pretty much the mutants of the anime verse, I would say, which is cool. These guys, uh, Most of them are a world of people that are born with powers, just like the mutants. So that's cool. But here we have a Revoltic Endeavor, which I really, really love. 
here we have a Revoltech all my these guys are all Revoltech so I'd rather just not keep saying Revoltech guys just so you know but yeah here we have an all my as well here we do have a Hawks uh, here we have a Eraserhead or Aizawa. Really, really awesome figure. I did go ahead and steal this pose from someone that I saw on Instagram. I forgot who it was, but it just looks so cool. I just had to have it. So, yeah. Here we have the Todoroki using a fire effect as well. And then here we do have Bakugo using his explosion quirk. Here we do have Red Riot, which I really, really love. And then we lastly have Vigilante Deku. This is Kid Bash with the cape and the mask. So that's awesome. Oh, and the gloves. So yeah, that's really, really cool. But yeah, guys, this series is one of my favorites as well. I just hope they continue. And Figure Arts has announced Deku and Bakugo, and they look insanely good. So I may mix and match these both Revoltech and Figure Arts lines. So yeah. Alright guys, that is my August 2024 collection update. I really hope you enjoyed and again I apologize for this taking so long but I just wanted a few more things before I updated and showed you guys a proper video of the entire collection uh, with, with Dragon Ball, X-Men, DC, Spider-Verse, Jutsu Kaisen, Naruto, and My Hero Academia. Those are all the anime slash comic book stuff that I'm collecting and I'm super happy of how they all turned out. And like I said, uh, big thanks to all those five guys that I mentioned on Instagram or earlier in the video. They're people who always inspire me every single day with their collections, their updates, and all that, and their content. So, yeah, uh, big thanks to all of you again, once again, for 9,000 plus subscribers. I cannot believe we're there. It's kind of insane to me that we've been growing this much. Uh, like I said, I've been busy with work, so I couldn't like really update or show the reviews so i apologize for that but i really hope you guys enjoyed the video uh yeah please like and subscribe so i can do some more in the future and i really hope you guys have a great day take care guys